What's going on, family and friends? Happy Friday Eve. You know what today is? It's morning inspo, but it's more than morning inspo. It's my birthday. It is my birthday. Hey, this is what 47 looks like. <laughs> But I'm excited to see what the scripture of the day is gonna be. Ooh, that was bars for my birthday. You ready to get into it? It's coming in from 1 Peter 3, 15. Let's break it on down. But sanctify the Lord God in your hearts and always be ready to give a defense to everyone who asks you a reason for the hope that is in you with meekness and fear. Mm, now, what does that mean to you? Let's bring it on down. But sanctify the Lord in your hearts. Now, we always hear that, oh, she's sanctified. Or she go to the holiness church. Okay. Being saved should be holiness. Being saved, we should be sanctified. Sanctified just means set apart. This is saying, but sanctify the Lord in your heart. Set apart God in your heart. Separate him from everything else, everybody else, like we talked about on yesterday, and make sure that only he is your God and only he is the one that you rely upon. Now, let me bring the balance. There are times where God will put people, resources in our lives, but we should not make those people an idol, all right? So let's keep God set apart as God in our hearts and always be ready to to give a defense. We can defend the word, but we should not argue about the word, but we should be ready to talk about why we believe what we believe. What made me be a believer? You see what I'm saying? What made me want to confess Christ that he died on that cross, was buried and rose for my sins? What made me want to do that? I got to always be ready because I never know if my testimony could cause somebody else to want to know more about Christ. Everyone who asks you for a reason for the hope that is in you and when we respond, we should respond with meekness and fear. Meekness just means humility. Fear doesn't mean afraid. Fear means to have reverence for Christ. When we give our response to people, we should respond in love, all right? And we should also respond in a way to where they can tell that we revere and we all God through Christ for all that he has done in our life, bars and all of what he's going to do. So again, make sure that you keep God set apart in your life and be ready to confess why you confess Christ and you are now a believer. I love y'all. God loves you best. Hug yourself for me.